Hi hey guys, uh, this is G-Paw, and if you've been following our podcast, you will know that that is the intro music for the G-Paw and Girl Power podcast. And as I mentioned uh, last week, we will be doing some simultaneous broadcasts. Um, we'll have a podcast, basically the audio that will be based off of some video that we did. Um, because we've had a lot of great experiences, and we want you guys to be able to hear them and and see them. So in March, late March and early April, uh, Jipa and Jima went on a trip with Girl Power 1 and Girl Power 2's family, our middle daughter uh, and her husband, and uh, Ellie G and Di Falish. And we went to Lincoln City, Oregon, which is on the Oregon coast, about center down, middle of the state on the coast. Uh, it is a major tourist spot, as are a number of the cities there. And there's so much to do there. Lighthouses and fun and uh, lots of uh, just activities. Uh, the Tillamook Ice Cream Factory and uh, all sorts of oddities to see and caves to visit and just incredible. Um, we had an opportunity uh, while we were in Lincoln City to see two of the coolest story, stores that I have ever seen. Uh, and one of them is called Wind Driven. And because of the wind factor on these beaches, it is a perfect kite flying area. And so there are a lot of competitions and a lot of fun with kites. And Wind Driven is a mega kite store with some kites I have never seen. And the owners, uh, owner of Wind Driven is uh, also an expert on that. And you'll be able to hear Greg tell us a little bit about um, just factors in kites and the different types of kites. And some of these kites can be anywhere from the, what they call a diamond kite, which is what you guys probably know growing up uh, in box kites, all the way up to these things that could literally be gliders um, that are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. The second store that we saw and went into that we thought was amazing, very, very cool, is called Prehistoric. And it is a store that is also a museum. And uh, one of their main advertising guys is a remote controlled, uh, pretty sure it's a raptor. Um, and he goes up and down on the sidewalk, but jet fossils uh, from every prehistoric period, oddities and taxidermy, uh, two-headed chicks and other, uh, ju just amazing quartz and rocks and so much to do. We decided for um, the YouTube channel that we would do interviews. And so we are going to be posting those Friday, uh, all in one tape with this particular intro. And then we are going to um, use this as our podcast for Friday as well. We are going to change the format of the podcast a little bit. Um, as I said, we've got some videos with some great audio on interviews and things like that. So we'll be filling in um, on some Fridays. Some Fridays, it's going to be reading with g because I love to do animated voices. Um, the first one will be um, uh, your furry friend, Grover, who will be doing There's a Monster at the end of this book. But Fridays, we'll also be posting some reading with g uh, It'll be kids' books. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun with that. And we will be going to the LEG and g hosted podcast every other Friday from now on. Um, I want to be really sensitive. As you can see from the video, I'm a pretty old guy. I got gray hair. I'm more or less retired. Um, Ellie, though, Ellie G, she still got school. And I want to make sure that while we're doing this uh, and having some fun that we're not burning her out a lot and uh, making it a little bit um, of a tough gig for her. Um, this is really her first job. And so we want to make sure that she's enjoying it and all. So every other week will be the co-hosted G-Paw and Girl Power. 
but we will still have things going on every Friday uh, from reading to these interviews. So sit back, enjoy the inter interviews with the owners of Wind Driven Kite Store and Prehistoric Fossils and all sorts of cool old stuff. Okay. Absolutely. So welcome to Wind Driven. Uh, we are a family owned and operated kite and toy and windsock and all kinds of fun stuff store. It's been around for about 30, uh, 18 years at this location here in Lincoln City, Oregon, uh, on the Oregon coast. And why don't you tell us your name? My name's Greg. And my Taylor's wife, your wife over there is my wife, and yes, we're family owned and operated, and we just cool. have fun. So, so okay. what can I do for you today? Um, well, we wanted to ask you some questions. Okay, go ahead. Um, so how did how did you decide that you wanted to do a kite store? Good question. So this is actually my wife's family's business. Uh, her mother has been uh, basically the owner of this business for about 10 years. She had a partner that retired a few years ago. And uh, honestly, my wife and I, we have a little guy, he's five years old, and we wanted to, you know, get involved in the family business and give him a fun place to, you know, enjoy. Besides, who wouldn't want to do this? I mean, kites, toys, wind socks, it's fun. So, uh, how many people, like, is it pretty busy? During the summer, very much. Uh, this is a seasonal area. We uh, see a lot of travel here on 101, and we get people from all over the world through here. It's very entertaining. So why up from all over the world? What is it about Lincoln City, the whole Oregon coast? Well, good question. Oregon coast, uh, one of the things that is often said about it is that there's a postcard around every corner. Uh, this is one of the most gorgeous parts of the West Coast. It's not exactly a place you want to come if you want to go swimming, uh, but it is a gorgeous, fun place for rock hounding and enjoying the beach and just the gorgeous coastal rainforest that we live in. Cool. So, um, <coughs> do you have any favorite kites? I've like got a ton of favorite kites, and it really depends on wind speeds, really. If the winds are right, they're all going to fly. That's what kites do. So, I personally like to fly the dual on trick kites, like these guys right here. This, like the one you see right there, that's actually the one I like to fly when I go out and do it. So this multicolored one here, or the red, the red, white, and black. The multicolored one, that style. It's okay. actually that is that exact one, just a different color scheme. And it's just a fun way to get out there and actually, you know, direct which way the kite goes. It's fun. Now, of course, we sell all different kinds. We sell, you know, the most popular design is what's known as a delta head. So delta heads are going to be any kite you see with a triangular head. Like those little guys right there. This is a great example of a delta right here. Okay? So those tend to be the most reliable and easiest to fly. So, but as you can see, there's all kinds of different designs. You know, one of the oldest and classic are diamonds. You know, everybody knows what diamond kites are. That's the one, you know, Charlie Brown tried to fly forever. Couldn't quite do it. Uh, the octopus kites, the dragon kites. Uh, yeah. Another good thing to see is these guys. These are called paraforms. So these right here, they have no parts. They actually uh, hold their shape due to some air cells that run through the middle of them. Those catch air, hold it, and they hold the shape. So yeah, those are really good for travel. These are easy, actually, to well, get they're out. incredibly easy, yeah. They're literally a shake out, clip on, and go kind of kite. So uh, great for travel, because there's no parts. It's so just... So are they easy for kids to fly? They're easy. If the winds are right, they're all easy. If the wind is right where you want it to be, and for those of you watching at home, you want to be between 5 to 20 mile an hour winds for most kites, just to let you give you know. Give if you guys up. don't know what that is, ask your parents. They're great, they're so simple. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, look around, play, have fun, enjoy. If you guys have any other questions, just grab me, all right? All right, so what do you say to Thank you for Thank letting us come here. Well, you're welcome. Thank you, I hope you have fun, and enjoy the Oregon Coast. Thanks. All right. Bye guys, subscribe and like. So this shop has some history. Uh, it's been at this location here in the, the Ocean Lake area of Lincoln City for about 18 years. It's very heat summer. And uh, before that, it was known as a shop and it was flying things for about nine years. And that was actually kind of down so in Instead the, of wind driven, it was wind driven, flying yeah, it, things. it came up here and it changed names. Uh, before that, it was actually one of the catch the wind chains. Now we're going back to the 90s and we're going back a few decades. 
but yeah, it was uh, one of the chains that was prevalent here on the Oregon coast for a number of years. And yeah, it's gone through a few, you know, different m changes, but it's still, you know, the family owned and operated. Yeah, yeah. very, very cool. Uh, and you actually feel the pull of the wind. But they also have the same control patterns as those guys, so, you know, they can do the same things, more or less. Now then it just goes into, you know, size and style and all that. You know, we have anywhere from $25 up to $500 based yeah. on, you know, what you're, what you're looking for. So yeah, uh, day like today, if the winds get decent later, the Nexus, which is a medium frame kite from Prism, we might have a chance of flying decent. The Quantum Wood as well, which is the big rainbow color one right here. Uh, possibly the Sky Dogs as well. These two guys right here have a chance of flying later today. Uh, the Parafoils, probably not, unless you get a really big one. At least a 200. You know, if you get, to, if you get a 200, which is that one, it should have enough wind today where you can actually be able to fly it. The 140, probably not. Um, so they need a heavy wind. Well, no, it, it's, all, it's, it's all about service area versus weight. That's what all, it's all about. And that guy, the 140, he is the easiest kite to learn on the shop. He's the easiest to fly in the lines. He's a great kite. Okay? But yeah, he takes a good sustain, six, seven to get up, while those take a sustain, four, five. Eight. Now when I say sustained, realize there is no such thing as a sustained win when you're in the lower range, because it's always variable. It's up and down, yeah. up and down. So yeah. Yeah, it's been the north, and we're gonna see eight. 13, 14, based on the model, model like that. Uh, this one is saying, basically, is saying, yeah. Sustain 7 or 8. So that's where they get them linked to bigger. Yes. Is that cool or what? Yeah. You mean? Oh my gosh, this is one of the coolest stores I've ever seen. Don't you think? Like they have hot air balloons. Like they have all different kinds of things. It's breakfast, it really is. Even for girl power, you've got diamond, girly pirate diamond kite. So when you're in Lincoln City along the uh, Oregon coast, shop local. Okay, wind driven. Wind driven. Greg, thank you so much. Thanks for Appreciate visiting, guys. Enjoy the coast. So we are at the prehistoric store in Lincoln City, and we're gonna cut a geode. Should we have you too? This is for the Girl Power channel, right? Girl Power and G-Paw channel. So we're here from? Uh, um, from Prehistoric Fossil in? in Lincoln City, Oregon. Okay, and this is Jim? Yes. And this is Girl Power 1? Perfect. From the G-Paw and Girl Power channel. Yay. Hey guys, welcome back to the G-Paw and Girl Power channel. Today, we're at the Prehistoric Fossil Store in Lincoln City, Oregon. And today, we are here with Jim Junger. Jim Junger. Hi, Jim. Hi. Okay, so still in the Okay. So, I wanted to interview you on this store. Okay. So Absolutely. We're going we're gonna to ask you some questions. Okay. So, how? So you have two stores in two different places. We do. We have a store here in Lincoln City, and we have a store in St. Augustine, Florida. So, why did you pick Florida and Oregon? My brother loves the, the, the warm weather. Uh, he likes to travel. So, coast to coast, we decided to hit both sides of the beach. Do you, so, where, where do you get all these fossils from? Uh, my brother's been collecting for over 30 years. Uh, I'm a collector now, too, and uh, we have partnerships uh, with vendors and quarries all over the world. So, we travel and we meet with people and uh, the collectors and the people that actually find them and dig them. Doug goes out. Uh, all the time and digs uh, and finds them himself as well. So, so you know, we saw some from his places as far away as Morocco and Germany and in, the, in Asia, didn't all we? over the world. Cool. So, do you have a favorite fossil? I do have a favorite fossil. My favorite fossils, my favorite dinosaur is the Triceratops. 
So anything Triceratops is my favorite. Do you have um, any kids? Any what? Any kids and do they like dinosaurs? I do have children. I have three children. One is 16. My son is 16. My Both my daughters. Uh, one is just turned 15 and my other daughter is 10. And they love fossils. So what do they think about this store then? Well, it's work to them. <laughs> Uh, they love it. Uh, it's all family oriented here. Uh, we really like to socialize with the, with other kids that come in, and and my kids do as well. And uh, you know, we're a really good kid friendly place here, and and we really enjoy it. And and the kids like to come in and help when they can, and when they're not in school, and it, it's a lot of fun. Well, you know what they say: if you enjoy it, it'll never be a day of work in your life. And it absolutely isn't. It is a passion, and, and we have a lot of fun around here. Cool. Do you get a lot of sales on, like, days, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? You know, during the summer, it's more on the weekdays. During the winter, it's more on the weekends. So, but we're open seven days a week from 9 to 5 every day. So, we're always open. Okay, so should we have him tell us a little bit about Danny, the dinosaur yeah. there? Danny is animatronic. Danny's an animatronic that usually goes outside. We usually put him out in the door. It's still early. But he actually moves. He's going to move. <laughs> oh. He actually moves. Is he your best salesman? He is. Uh, he very much is. Uh, the kids love him. Uh, some some were completely afraid of him, but most kids really like him. So, who do you think would be afraid of him in our family? Probably Davern, right? No, she likes Halloween. Now, and she likes dinosaurs. And okay, never mind. She's four. Yeah. You know? Yep. You never know. You never and know. Even the kids that don't like him after they leave, they'll don't talk about it the whole time and want to come back so nice. it, it's a love-hate relationship even with the little kids so. okay so tell me if, if this and this is Jeepa. okay so how did you go about getting Danny? uh our toy vendor a toy vendor that we started with uh make makes him oh so he okay. makes several of them he did stop making them so uh but our toy vendor uh made him for us very cool yeah all right so uh -huh. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, so I see you have some geodes over there with this like big machine. We do. What does that machine do? The geodes are really neat. Uh, and what happens is you pick a geode. Uh, each geode is going to be full of crystals on inside. Here's an example. Here's another example of another one that didn't break very well. But you pick your geode, it gets set up in this chain, and then you get to break it. So, and then generally it breaks in perfect halves, so you get two perfect halves. And we guarantee that there's crystals inside and it does have a chamber. So, these come out of a, outside of Chihuahua, Mexico. Uh, one of the, the prettiest quarries. Uh, we very much love that quarry. So, you guys, if you guys want to find you, outside of Chihuahua, Mexico. Yep. This is a place to come. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. It's worth the trip to Oregon, yeah. don't you think? All right, any other questions for Jim? Nope, do you have any more questions? Uh, I don't, that we, and we took. What? He so, goes. So, 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 Should we have you two? This is for the Girl Power channel, right? Girl Power and g -Paw channel. So we're here from? Wait, uh. Prehistoric fossil in Lincoln City, Oregon. Okay, and this is Jim. Yes. And this is Girl Power One. Perfect. From the G Pot and Girl Power Channel. Yay. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed that, and please join us again on Fridays for the podcast, uh, G Pot and Girl Power Podcast, and our YouTube channel. G-Paw and Girl Power for new videos that will be going on. 
Uh, we got the holiday season coming up, so it's going to be really, really good. And uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and please download the podcast, G-Paw and Girl Power. Thank you very much. It's a moving microphone.